Hello, this is Basbus from Market Seek Indonesia and today I want to talk about rubber grommets and golden core. As we know, Korean Fanta is using rubber instead of spring and this is very interesting because must have uh, making a living by mix custom polymer parts for industrial machine including elastomer so I made this at my workshop uh, I'm pretty familiar with this thing so I want to share what I know about it to you guys first thing the easiest way to differentiate one rubber or elastomer to the other is using the hardness it's not the only way it's just the easiest way so we cannot say that the same hardness will feel the same it's not like that the same hardness can feel totally different because there are many properties like elonation, tensile, abrasive repetition and many others that we cannot measure it at home it's only doable at lab so to measure hardness we use tools called durometer durometer have needles so to measure a soft material we push the needle to penetrate it and it have scale from 0 to 100 will that will show you uh, how much the how much the dip of the penetration so this is short a durometer and the unit of a soft material like rubbers is short a not grams it's short a so i want to show you how to measure the hardness of a rubber so let's do this this is sinetsu silicon Sinetsu is a big company from Japan that produces the best silicon in the world and I only use the best material for my products so to do a hardness testing first we prepare the material then we push the needles onto it and we got readings but this is not the proper way to do it because material is too thin and my finger pressure can affecting the readings the more I put pressure the higher the readings so better way to do it is to stack another grommets so you can get a proper thickness and your finger pressure won't affecting the readings too much I push as hard as I can it's only affecting a little so if you want to put a durometer you don't need to buy uh, this one this is Kori Seiki made in Japan pretty expensive I use it at my workshop but you can buy this one from eBay about 15 to 20 USD it will give uh, almost the same readings Next, I want to talk about the shape of the grommets. Uh, before that, I want to show you that the clear one, it has uh, readings about 35. The green one is about 45. Blue one is about 55. And the red one is about 65. Then this is the original design of Fanta grommets. And on Fanta case, they have four pins to keep the grommet in place so where there, is, where there is four holes on the corner is because we want to make the tension equal on every direction not only cardinal up down f left right have holes diagonal also have holes so the tension will be equal and actually fanta and crown share the same design you can see it if you cut out this part, 
you will end up having a gear shape grommets and this hole actually I don't think this is a diagonal hole because first it not go through and second it is not at the center you can see it it is way too off from the center way too off if it diagonal hole it should be at the center next I want to discuss about golden core so we have two golden core one for crown it have groove on it to installing the spring and this one is for Fanta, Taeyong and Myungsin. So in Korean lever we have issue we call it Jetson Wubble and I want to show you what is Jetson Wubble and what causing it and for the purpose of this video I make the shorter actuator so I can show you clearly So there is clearance, a noticeable clearance, and it can make the parts moving, and this is what causing the wobble. And you cannot just simply use a longer actuator that will remove all the clearance because you need clearance. Without clearance, you can barely spin the bed top and the shaft and there will be friction against each other and when there is friction and eventually it will become loose and the wobble is back so we use spring because spring can adjust itself when there is friction and the spring there is two spring I want to show you this is a high tension spring and medium tension spring let's use the high tension first let's try the standard test actuator so the spring will eliminate the empty space and there is no moving part so there is no wobble The spring will push the actuator toward the clip and push the core to the shaft. There will be some friction over here and we need lubrication. And so the difference between the high tension spring and low tension spring is high tension spring, high tension spring will add more tension so you will feel the spinning bed top and shaft more heavy and the lighter spring you can spin the bed top and the shaft more easily so to lubricate it we use a silicone based grease or lubrication don't use petrol base because it can damage the silicone only use silicone base or PTFE I use Molycode from Tokorni. You can use in Etsu or any brands as long as it good. Just put small amount. Now you can see that the friction area is lubricated. I will use the lighter spring right now. And if you want to use tray lubrication, you can try this one, W40 tray loop, uh, made from PTFE or Teflon. You just put small amount or spray small amount on this area, friction area. You don't need to lubricate the silicone because this is not metal to metal friction. This is metal to rubber, so there is no friction. You need only 
to lubricate the area that metal versus metal. So when there is chamfer, so first time I use green arcade lever, I feel snug because they use like this 7 mm soft, small soft. It have more travel because more travel will pivoting the core more and if you don't make clearance in this area it will hit the base green arcade lever hitting the base that's why you feel the knot so in golden mod we fix it by making chamfer now you can move without the knock feeling all the way 360 thank you for watching and see you again at next video